In this video, I will show you how to use this device, which is a CCTV camera tester for testing all kinds of analog and IP cameras. We will start with IP camera test and so with the help of this network cable, I'll connect the IP camera through its Ethernet port and connect the other end into this port that is labeled LAN on the tester. So I'll plug in the cable. We also need to connect power into the camera, of which there is provision for power supply on the tester which is located here. So we'll use this provided power cable and plug into the power supply port of the tester and feed this end into the camera. Before we run the test, we'll need to turn on power supply to the camera from the top here. So when you check from the side here, you will see that the camera is powered on now since the lights by the Ethernet port are blinking. So we can now go onto the device, go to the IP camera menu. Here are various tasks you can perform on IP cameras. This option gives you the chance to turn on power over Ethernet for PoE IP cameras. At IP Discovery, you can check the factory assigned IP address of each camera you connect to this device. You can test whether the camera works well or not through a ping. And you can see the results of the ping I have just done on the camera we have connected to this device, which clearly indicates that the camera is responding well. For all cameras that are OnViv compliant, you can view live camera pictures through this menu where you can use it to adjust your cameras at their locations since the device comes with an inbuilt battery making it mobile and can be carried to any of the locations where you install your cameras. There is provision for testing non onviv compliant cameras as well. And you can also test specific camera brands. Let's look at analog camera test. And so we'll quickly disconnect the IP camera. Here is my analog camera. Here is also the cable I will use to connect it. So I'll connect the BNC to the camera and connect this end to the tester. We will now connect power to the camera. I'll connect the power cable coming from the tester into the camera. Now you can see that both power and video have been connected to the camera, which are all taken into the tester. So on the tester, we will open CVBS and HD camera. The system gives the chance to select the type of analog camera you will want to test, but you can use Auto HD if you are not sure of the type of analog camera you are testing. So let's select Auto HD and it gives us the videos of the camera. So with the help of this device as well, you can adjust your analog cameras to get the best view possible for each camera in your installation. Apart from testing CCTV cameras, you can use this device to carry out other tests like RJ45 TDR test, a LAN cable test where you can verify which cable is not properly crimped onto an RJ45 plug. Let me use this network cable as an example so that if you want to test whether it is properly terminated, I'll connect one end of the cable into this adapter that comes with the tester. And then this other end goes into the tester. So as you can see on the screen, it has checked as correct with all eight conductors indicating true connection. When I disconnect the cable, you can see the no connection result indicated. 
So let me push it back. And so you can see the difference now. Undoubtedly, this is an important tool for setting up CCTV cameras. Please ensure you give this video a thumbs up if you find value in it. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.